A popular Austin frozen treat company is taking one of its competitors to court. Good Pop claims Johnny Pops is falsely advertising to make it appear the product is better for you than it actually is. KXN's Tom Miller talked with an Austin Business Journal reporter about the lawsuit. First, can you explain what Good Pop is and this idea behind a healthy popsicle brand? Sure, so Good Pop is an Austin-based popsicle brand that uses fruit inside of its uh, popsicles and it's supposed to be part of this like better for you movement where companies are producing these snacks that are just supposed to be alternatives that are a little bit healthier than what we're used to. <laughs> yeah, and very popular. We have them in a lot of our grocery stores. Okay. So Good Pop has filed a lawsuit against one of its competitors, Johnny Pop. What is it claiming? Yeah, so uh, essentially Good Pop is, is claiming that there's false advertising going on with Johnny Pops where their boxes are very like fruit forward, uh, you know, just prominently advertising fruit on their boxes. But um, the claim is that no, they're using water and sugar as the two main ingredients and there's potentially like 2% or less of fruit inside of the Johnny Pops products. I know you reached out to Johnny Pops for a response. What did they tell you? Yeah, so they said essentially there's no merit to this uh, claim that Good Pop is making. Uh, but, you know, they could be in a position where they have to pay an eight figure uh, amount if the allegations or the lawsuit end up, you know, if Good Pop wins the lawsuit. Uh, but that's according to Good Pop's lawyer. Okay. Sahar Shmace talking popsicle lawsuits with us. Thank you, Sahar. <laughs> Thank you, Tom.